Hey guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and in this short video I will show you how do I pack all this stuff into my panniers. Uh, so basically I have food and uh, cooking gear in one pannier and then the other pannier has got all my camping gear. If you want to see what camping gear I'm using I can uh, put a card on top here this way you can uh, check it out uh, in my pre previous video when I've talked about all the camping gear that I use and what do I use on a motorcycle. So I will show you how do I pack all this into my two panniers. The third pannier stays pretty much empty. So there's not much stuff in there. There's just a, maybe a sweater. I want to have that empty for uh, partial camera gear. Also for my helmet if I'm um, going off somewhere. So I'll show you step by step how do I put it together inside the panniers. Uh, you gotta kind of sort it like Lego. Uh, make sure you can fit as much as you can. This gear here, what I have uh, showing you, uh, that should last me between four and five days. There's still clothing on top of it, uh, which I will cover later. And let me go over all the stuff and I will talk about uh, what am I packing. So I got my food and I've got my tent and everything else in between. So let's get to it and I will show you how it's done. And again, if you like that video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So before I go and cover how do I pack it all, I want to tell you what do I carry in my crash bags. So on the left side, I have my liners for my jacket and uh, pants. Since we are heading to the mountains for three, four days, uh, we're gonna be pretty much in the wilderness. So I will be prepared just in case if it gets cooler overnight or um, during the day, uh, there's a possibility of snow. You never know that time of the year in the mountains. And uh, I also carry in this bag a chain loop. And on the other side, in the same bag, I, all I have is my motorcycle cover, uh, that I can cover my motorcycle for the night uh, while I'm sleeping and at the same time I carry my spare uh, warmer uh, riding gloves. Sometimes I also put the first aid kit in one of those but quite often I have it uh, easier for access in my top box. So now we'll go over uh, what do I have in here and how do I pack. My right hand side pannier. So we'll start with uh, I got four of different kinds of stews. Uh, I got a beef, chicken and some other ones. I have a couple cans of soups and one of the dry soups. Then I have two cans of tuna, smoked oysters and a few packets of oatmeal and tea bags. I don't go anywhere without the coffee, so I have my coffee here. I have my spices, uh, there's different kinds of spices in this little container. Two sets of wipes, um, I use them to clean up, uh, they're scent free, so I use them for cleaning up my uh, cooking gear or uh, if you need a quick wash in the morning, if you have now access to the water, or if I run out of water in my uh, tank uh, in the back, uh, I like to be prepared. I have my stove, AeroPress coffee maker. Then uh, I have two loaves of the pumpernickel bread. This bread is excellent um, for travel because it doesn't go bad uh, for a long time. You can probably keep it even up to a couple of weeks as long as you don't open the package. Uh, this is available not in a bakeware, but uh, in a different aisle. Um, you can find that stuff. And it's actually pretty tasty, it's not too bad. So I have two packages of, of that bread. Um, then I'll start uh, with the six eggs, my fork, knife and spoon, um, oh, I think I'm forgetting a little chicken breast, uh, if you want to put it on the sandwich. Bottle of Coke inside the coffee mug, that way it takes less room. Then I have my cooking pot and there is a couple dishes and uh, also it comes with couple, uh, I showed you that in my previous video, so 
you can look at that. Uh, also, there's a couple other cups. And I carry that inside the toque. The reason why I carry that inside the toque, sometimes in the mountains, it gets cool in the morning, you have a toque handy with that. So that's a dual purpose. So number one, that doesn't get beat up inside the pannier. Uh, and number two, you have it uh, for warmth. I don't go anywhere without my bottle of rum. And to all the guys that I'm riding with uh, usually bring a bottle of rum as well. This way we have a bottle between uh, like three or four of us uh, each evening. Uh, so we can have a good time after a day of riding as well. And last but not least, uh, I have my uh, small frying pan. And with that, I will also bring in the morning, I have a small jar of uh, pig lard that I use it for cooking. I don't want to bring that now, uh, that's, everybody knows how that looks, um, because uh, I will pack that thing first thing in the morning. And I carry a small um, towel just if I need to wipe anything. So I got actually two of those. This one is for when I'm using for my face or when I give a quick wash. And this one here, um, I'll keep it just in case if I need to wipe something like a table or whatever, I can always wash it out and I have it handy. I, I carry a propane for, for my uh, stove. And beside that one, I also carry a fuel because my stove is a dual fuel. So I have a MSR bottle with uh, fuel as well. And that's again, dual purpose, um, backup for the stove. And at the same time, I can use it. Uh, there's not much in there probably. There's like uh, not even 600 milliliters, 590 mils. Uh, but if you're really in an emergency, if, uh, if I run out of uh, fuel in my uh, jerry can, then this is always uh, another backup that you can use. Or even if you want to st uh, start the fire quicker, you can use that as well. All right, so this is how we're gonna pack it all. So first thing on the bottom, I'm putting my spare tube because there's a s they don't have to be really easy accessible. Then I put my mattress and my liners, squeeze them tight, that's right on the bottom my sleeping bag and another liner. Actually, I put the teepee on the bottom because there's enough room on that. Then I can put the other liner right there. Next thing is my tent and the tarp. Then I got my chair and the small compressor, which I did the review of that as well. I link it on top. The remaining space is going to be for my camera gear and my drone. So that pannier has to have that. And I carry a couple battery packs. They're pretty large battery packs. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to charge so to, for the videos. And my Senna phone, the regular stuff what most people are using and my Anchor um, Bluetooth speaker. So this is it, that pannier is loaded. And here on the left side, I carry all my charging cables and uh, my flashlight uh, for the night, my headlamp. So that's what stays in here. And also uh, documents that they, they'll go in this bag. And by the way, that's Bumot, uh, a very nice organizer for the lid. So now I will start with my uh, kitchen slash food pannier. And first thing is my wipes. I want to have them easy accessible since I have the toilet paper down on the bottom in the other pannier. Then next I put the pan since it's, this way it's uh, the frying pan. This way it's sitting sideways and it's not uh, affecting anything in here. Then the right beside it, I'll go with my cooking gear. You always want to keep it as tight as possible. The fuel on the other side, it's wrapped in a double bag, just so nothing spills in there. Propane for the stove. So I'll pack it, fill in the space with the chicken, then the cans.
there is also a chili and one more mushroom soup. Very important to have that uh, fitted as tight as possible. At the same time, you want to prevent so it doesn't rattle. Spits, sunflower seeds. This works as a spacer, prevents from the bottle to move. And as you see, that fits everything in here. Test it works. So what I also bring, I bring the dry bag. There's two different reasons. Uh, sometimes I carry clothing in it and I just strap it in the back of my pillion seat. Or it can also serve just in case if the pannier or something breaks off, you still have the you can still put the stuff in there uh, to take the load of the pannier. Uh, so that's why it's bigger, but uh, I will usually roll it to a small thing and just drop it in the back of the bike And that's where where the clothing is gonna go. So let me show you What do I put for clothing in here? So the clothing what I'm taking uh, It's I try to stay minimal. I probably could go even less, but uh, I like to stay fresh if I get overheated during the day so I carry a sweatpants uh, just to wander around the uh, uh, my camping spot or wherever I'll be uh, so to get get out of the uh, riding pants and jacket then I have a pair of shorts swim shorts two t-shirts a sweater and I have a thicker sweater also in my rear pannier couple pairs of underwear and this is a lifesaver uh, marine wool uh, top and bottom uh, for a colder night uh, when you are sleeping in the mountains uh, they they are awesome they generate uh, extra heat uh, even if you are in the liners sometimes uh, I've been in situations where they help a lot couple pair of socks plus whatever I'll be wearing on top uh, under my riding gear so that makes uh, pretty much a third set of clothing so as you see, that's pretty minimum and all that stuff. Technically, um, I could probably even squeeze it here, but I don't like to have it too tight. Uh, I like to have extra room just in case if I need to toss something quickly. So I will use that and I'll put it back on my pillion seat. And uh, I also carry uh, either a flip flops or sandals. Again, just to get rid of, get rid of uh, riding boots. After the whole day of riding, you want to I like to have a rest on my feet a little bit instead of wandering around in uh, big boots. I could probably fit everything if I didn't have the camera gear, but everywhere I go, I love to take my videos and taking pictures and sharing with you guys uh, uh, that uh, I started doing that uh, beginning of this year and I share pretty much every ride. And this is one of the last uh, rides this year. Uh, well, it's going to be probably still short ones uh, when we're going to get out just for a day or a couple hours. But uh, for the bigger adventures, uh, this is it this year. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow is a big day and we will head out to Grey Creek, uh, British Columbia. Uh, pretty much uh, most of the adventure is going to be off-roading, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I took off-road trips in the past because uh, like sometimes we spent some time on the pavement and then uh, just a few hours off-road. And this trip uh, we, we are planning to be uh, pretty much most of the time off-road. And I will share that with you after I edit all the content. And if you like that video and you found it helpful, uh, please hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, um, let this channel grow. 
uh, that uh, that means a lot to me and thank you for watching till next time cheers